Welcome back, David Brim here. In this installment of the Modern 2D Animation Pipeline, we continue the digital character development process with special attention given to proper character setup and organized layer hierarchies within Adobe Illustrator. Thoughtful preparation and organization of your character's layer hierarchy usually results in successful character rigging, which then leads to successful character animation in Adobe After Effects or Flash. So you can see why this step is so important. Now, Adobe Illustrator has many powerful tools for converting a hand-drawn sketch into a vector-based Illustrator file. We're going to do a practical exploration of the pen tool to outline our main characters, and then we're going to create an organized layer structure for each character component that will eventually be brought to life during the character animation process. So let's make the magic happen. Importing your drawing into Adobe Illustrator is easier than you might think. Just go to File, Import, navigate to your drawing, and select your scanned image file. Once your file is open, you may need to adjust your artboard. Select the artboard icon in the toolbar palette and adjust the marquee window to surround your character. If you select any other icon in the toolbar, it will remove the marquee. Setting up your sketch as a template will keep your sketch locked while you trace it. So double click on your artwork layer and rename it to template. Also select the template radio box. Next, you're going to draw the head. So add another layer, double click on the new layer and rename it. Typically, we will draw character parts that are furthest from view and end with the topmost part, like the mouth or the eyelid. The pen tool allows you to draw straight lines by clicking on your canvas one point at a time. Then you can connect the last point to close your polygon. So our character has a lot of curved lines, so we're going to delete our first attempt and use an alternate method. We're going to click on our canvas and drag out a bezier curve. In this way, each point can be adjusted interactively. Try to get close to your desired look, but remember you can always fine tune it later. Since the hair is the topmost element, any lines under the hair can be less specific. As you look over your new line, you may discover you have one too many points, but you can delete the extra point using the Delete Anchor Point tool. Now let's adjust our curves to line up our sketch better. The Convert Anchor Point tool allows us to adjust each handle independently by grabbing the end of the Bezier curve handle and making the necessary adjustments. Once you finish the head, then create the hair, the eyeballs, pupils, eyelids, nose, and mouth. Once that is complete, you can work on the rest of the character. Remember, the naming of each separate layer will make it much easier for you to reference these parts during the character animation phase. So do your best to stay organized and create a proper layer hierarchy. As you can see, multiple layers are essential for digital character development. And now that we have our characters set up and organized, we are in good shape to move forward. In the next installment, we're going to pick a color palette and digitally paint our main characters. See you there.